In this endoscopic footage, we can see that air from the mouth and nose passes through the voice box. It then descends along the windpipe, or trachea, towards the lungs. The trachea is kept open by rings of cartilage in its wall, and once in the chest, it divides into two branches, called bronchi. The bronchi lead directly to each lung. Once inside the lungs, the air travels down a series of branch-like tubes called bronchioles. The bronchioles get narrower and narrower towards their ends and eventually finish in bunches of tiny air sacs, the alveoli. The alveoli are elastic, thin-walled structures and we have approximately 150 million of them in each lung. That's a lot of air sacs, giving us a lot of surface area. The alveoli are enmeshed in a network of blood capillaries and it's here that the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place. The oxygen and carbon dioxide pass through by simple diffusion. Oxygen in high concentration diffuses across the thin membrane of each alveolus into the blood. Carbon dioxide travels in the opposite direction, so it leaves the blood and enters the lungs. The inner surface of each alveolus is covered by a thin layer of water in which the gases dissolve before they diffuse through. But they also contain another fluid called surfactant. Why is this fluid so important? Well, remember, the alveoli are very thin, wet sacs and they have a natural tendency to collapse inwards, blocking diffusion. Without surfactant, it would be very difficult to produce enough pressure to inflate the lungs.